Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have to share a card making video and this is not a normal video. It's part of the Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop. The hop is a celebration of card making video tutorials created by a group of talented crafters of all kinds of levels and styles. We have a lot of amazing sponsors today. So don't forget to leave a comment under each video to increase your chance to win one of the prizes. I'm giving away an extra prize on my channel where I draw a winner from all my comments and you have the chance to win a 25 euro grab bag of rubber dance stamps. I'm creating a greeting card with a distress oxide background today and I don't work on my glass plate what I normally do. I'm working on a baking mat because when you put the ink onto the baking mat the ink doesn't move together and you get a really interesting texture. I will list all the colors I am using in the description box. I'm working with the Arteza watercolor paper today. I will speed up my process of creating the backgrounds because my video would become too long and I'm drying each layer in between with my heat tool because I don't want to mix the colors. This avoids to get a muddy color. So I'm drying each layer and then I go in with another color. Here are my finished backgrounds and I want to add even more textures so I'm adding some water droplets. The water will reactivate the ink and create additional texture. My main image for my greeting card will be a butterfly from the rubber dance grungy butterflies and I stamp it to watercolor paper and I'm using a waterproof ink. I use a very quick way today to color in the butterfly. I'm using distress inks. I don't go with the oxides for coloring because the distress inks are very much brighter than the oxides and I want to have the butterfly stand out.
I'm also stamping the butterfly directly to my card background because I want to cut out the other butterfly and glue it directly to this one so I can cut it out on the black outlines and nobody will see that it's a cut out butterfly. After cutting out the butterfly I use a black pit artist pen and color the edges of my paper so it's not white anymore and then it will almost be invisible that I've glued down the butterfly. Before I glue my butterfly down, I'm adding even more texture to the background by stamping the Rubber Dance Mix a Sentiment stamp to it and I just stamp it randomly a little bit here and there. I have adhered a die cut that I've cut with a Stamparations word die from some holographic glitter paper and I'm adhering the butterfly with liquid glue. To add even more dimension to my greeting, I'm adding a layer of glossy accents. To let the butterfly look even more special, I'm glittering it with the Nouveau Shimmer pen. After my sentiment is dry, I mount everything to a card base. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoy our lovely YouTube hop. See us next time. Bye!